everyone, and welcome to the Acura Proving Grounds. I'm Bradley Hazemeyer. Today is a very special day. I'm going to get to test drive the brand new, completely redesigned Acura RDX before it even hits the market. I'm going to be comparing it to this, the Infiniti QX50. We're going to figure out which one of these belongs in your driveway. Let's go. Now, of course, when you're going to buy a car, what's the first thing you think about? How the car looks, right? And this Infiniti has been totally updated for 2019, and I gotta say, it's pretty sharp. But unfortunately, it's not only about the outside. Yes, there's a new screen, which is always welcome when it comes to the interior of a car, and there's some nice touches in there as well. Now, when it comes to the back seat, of course, you're thinking there's gotta be a lot of room. Sorry. If you're the middle passenger, your day is over. If you're the friends on either side, you don't even have much room for your feet. When it comes to the Infiniti, you do have some really nice optional features, such as a panoramic moonroof, or heated front seats. But unfortunately, you have to pay for those. Shouldn't they be standard? It's a luxury car. All right, so now this is what I'm talking about. Even just walking up to the car, you get this sense of power and excitement. Take a look at these lines, huh? One of my favorite things to note here is the character line. It's essentially the line that runs from the diamond pentagon grille all the way down the side to the back and ends in those dragon tail tail lights. If you drive a car with a dragon tail tail light, your day's automatically gonna be better. Another design feature that Acura did is they increased the wheelbase. And what this does is give you a more comfortable ride, gives you more interior space, and gives it a more overall powerful stance. Win, 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 all around. And that's just on the outside. Let's go in the car. Welcome to the lifestyles of the rich and famous inside here, baby. Yeah, look at this interior, huh? It's like you're in first class. You've got this leather-wrapped sport steering wheel with paddle shifters. Boom, 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 boom. So much power just in my hands. And look up. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a giant panoramic moonroof, which comes standard, by the way. All this is based on Acura's precision cockpit, and I think it feels like first class. Of course, I don't really know what first class feels like because they flew me coach. Yeah, you did. You did but I'm okay about that. One of the things I really love about this new interior is this 10.2 inch display. It's sharp, it's crisp, and it works with what I call the brilliant true touchpad interface. No hashtag fake news, only true touch here. Whatever you touch on the touchpad corresponds to the screen. There's no mouth, there's no buttons, there's no fumbling around, there's no reaching over here while you're trying to look at the nav and look, no, no. It's nice, it's clean, it's simple, and I don't know why anyone else has never done this before. And when it comes to audio, you've got premium speakers mounted high on the doors and available speakers mounted in the ceiling. Yes, that means you're getting a front to back, side to side, and top to bottom audio experience. If the words floating center console sound like a zen meditation to you, well, that's good because this beautiful area here brings you much peace and storage in the middle, in the back, underneath, plus two USB ports. Thank you, Acura. Let's just pause for a second and take a minute to reflect on the beauty that is this front seat. It's rich Milano leather, perforated, so it's ventilated. That also means it can be heated. This thing can be adjusted up to 16 different ways. It's super comfortable, which is great for long road trips or just gazing at the moon through the moon roof. Of course, the people sitting in the front of the car have great leg room. Almost everyone offers that, but a lot of the competitors cram your friends in the back, especially your least favorite friend. You know what I'm talking about, middle seat. Yeah, middle seat Sammy is not happy in the other competitors' cars. But here with no raised floor, he's thrilled. Oh, and also there's two more USB charging ports back there. You don't have to talk to your kids, plug them in. And this is an SUV, of course, so let's talk cargo. Back here, cargo is top notch, check this out. Convenient underfloor storage, yes, perfect for hiding all of those things that you don't want seen. And unique to this segment, ta-da, even more underfloor storage. Now, let's say you've got something large that you need to put back here, that's fine. Just pull these handles, boom, all seats fold flat. Now it's time to find out which one of these two has racing in its DNA. Oh, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's all thanks to the two liter turbo in this RDX. It delivers a surprisingly large amount of power and torque. And a lot of that torque is that zero to 30. So you're really gonna feel it as you're taking off. I really love how this cockpit's been designed around the driver. I've got this great steering wheel with paddle shifters right here. And if you want even more control, you can click through your different drive modes on the fly to help you connect better with the road. 
And this RDX features available Acura Super Handling all-wheel drive, which can distribute power from the front to the back to give it more agility and more control. And you really feel that when you're entering some of these curves. I mean, this does not drive like an SUV. All right, so if you're looking for something that's fun to drive, something with a little bit of punch and also control, this is the SUV for you. You know, Acura obviously didn't hold back one bit with this new RDX. All right, here we go, the Infiniti QX50. Got a nice bit of jump off the line, but you hear that whine? Yeah, that's a CVT. That's pretty annoying compared to Acura's 10-speed automatic transmission. I do like this style. They've restyled it for 2019, and there's some innovation in the engine department. But overall, it lacks the guts, the racing spirit that you get from the Acura. Hey, no disappointment here. The all-new Acura RDX is bold and distinctive. This SUV also comes loaded with so many great standard features that you'll pay an arm and a leg for on other brands. And I prefer to keep my appendages, thank you. All right, I'll admit, Infiniti's up their style game for 2019, and I'm pretty impressed, but it still lacks the spirited driving performance from the RDX. I mean, this thing really stands out, and that's why it deserves to be on your list. Plus, it comes loaded with all kinds of standard features like Acura Watch, driver assistance technologies. We didn't even get a chance to talk about those, but now it's your turn. Head to Acura.com, make your own comparison. I gotta take off, I've got another job. I'm a land surveyor. All right, Bradley out, see you next time. It looks huge!